Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And in this video, we'll try to work out the center of gravity or centroid for a semi-circular wire. Yes, you heard that right. This in fact is a one-dimensional object. And the formula for calculating its centroid is going to be slightly different. We will have the operator in terms of DL and not in terms of DA as you have been watching in the previous videos. <coughs> so let's kick off by initially fitting in a coordinate axis. Okay. By just, just making an observation, you can really work out that the centroid is going to lie somewhere along this y axis. Okay, Let's say that the centroid of this wire is over here. So in that sense, it's going to have coordinates x bar and y bar. And from observation, you can say x bar is going to be equal to 0. Okay, Now let me, let me do something for calculating y bar. So this is y nodal. Okay, so what is this y noodle? I'm going to tell you right now. So since this is a linear object, sort of a one dimensional object, we have to take in a one dimensional element. And here we go. That's the one dimensional element subtending some sort of angle right over here. This way, this way, this way, precisely. And let's just say over here, we have the angle in the form of theta. Therefore, the angle subtended by this small element at the center of the semicircular wire is represented by the theta and let's assume this this length to be equal to what dl and there is a direct relationship between this this is what you call the radius um, uh, this length of the arc and this theta and dl you know very well is equal to r dot d theta right okay so in place of dl we're gonna punch in this r d theta and what about this y noodle Okay, that's the coordinate or the centroid and this is having coordinates in the form of x noodle and y noodle and what we are really interested in is calculating the value of y noodle. Okay, so that's y noodle. Let me show you this way. <coughs> this way and this is precisely y noodle and if you guys watch carefully this is r right and this is theta then this distance is r cos theta and this distance has got to be r sin theta done so we're gonna punch in all these values over here and then we're gonna start with integration here we go now if you watch carefully this small element is gonna start working from here and it's gonna go around, gonna go around the semicircle, and it is gonna end over here. That means it essentially has to cover up an angle starting from zero degrees until we reach here at pi. So the limits are to be taken from zero to pi, zero to pi. And you just have to solve this integration. This is in fact a definite in integral, and this is gonna be fairly easy. Let's let's kick off. Here we go. So r square can be taken as common. And the stuff remaining is this sine theta dot d theta whole divided by r can be taken outside the integral and then we have this is 0 to pi obviously 0 to pi and inside you have this d theta and that's it integral of sine theta is minus cosine theta and here we go this is going to be r will cancel out only one r in the numerator remains and the integral is something of this sort minus cosine theta and from 0 to pi and we have this theta from 0 to pi you can actually take the minus sign okay outside and it's going to look something like this negative of r and cos theta remains inside we have the limit from 0 to pi and in the denominator when you punch in the limit um, upper minus lower you're going to have this pi minus 0 and then you when you punch in the <coughs> limits in the numerator you'll have this result negative of r and that's going to be cosine of pi minus cosine of 0 and all of this has to be divided by pi now what what's cosine of pi well it's minus 1 okay so let me write it over here negative of r and that's going to be minus 1 this is minus minus cos 0 is obviously 1 and that's it all of this stuff divided by pi and the final result of y bar that you're going to get is negative r negative 2 that's twice of r over pi right that's it so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got 
any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has enhanced your knowledge of mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update well needless to say i'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day keep learning and thank you